Hello and welcome back to Little Red Block. Um, so what we've been discussing is Marvel and DC comic book movies over the next five years. We've looked at 2016 um, and now we're going to look into the next four years. So let's run through um, 2017. So this is the, the listings for 2017. Uh, there's an untitled Wolverine sequel. There's Guardians of the Galaxy 2, Fantastic Four 2, Wonder Woman, uh, a Marvel Studios co-produced Spider-Man film, it's a catchy title, um, <laughs> Thor Ragnarok, Justice League Part 1, and Bloodshot, which is unscheduled as yet. I know what we're going to go straight to, right? Fantastic yeah, Four? Cool. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I thought that might be the case. Um, so, I haven't seen Fantastic Four yet. main reason I haven't is the recommendations from you guys, or yeah. not lack of recommendation. So we know that the film was heavily kind of um, criticised even within the, the studio and the director, yeah. I know they had a falling out. Yeah. Um, but you, you, you've both seen it. What, what yeah, well, my impression is, I, I, I just tried to ignore what was in the media and the sacro around that. And I thought, let's just go with it and watch it. It just just didn't feel like it had any substance to it. It feels like the story was just rushed from, you know, them being who they are and etc. And then the next minute, they've got these amazing powers and that's it, it just finishes. You know, they have one fight with, a, you know, an, an, an emesis uh, and that's it. Yeah. So, it, it's just, there, there's just nothing to it. It just felt that, you know what, it felt a little bit complacent. It's just like, okay, we, we're going to put out another comic book movie. It's, you know, it's a winner and it just didn't happen. And it just felt that, um, that even, yeah, with Dr. Doom, it's just like, you look at it and you go, hold on, what's going on? Dr. Doom, you know, they, spoiler alert, but yeah, they just, well, did they kill him? You know, I'm just yeah, thinking, yeah. Mm, maybe not, but in the answer that would be no. <laughs> yeah. Well, the the whole the whole thing, the, how it was done, you could see it, and I think everybody's been mentioning that it feels like the editing was badly done. Mm. Yeah. It just felt that suddenly something cuts into something, and then it's you reading into the storyline. You go, oh, I can see some potential into it, you know, especially when uh, when Fantastic Four are actually well, basically get their powers after they get their powers. When you see it's kind of a horror kind of aspect. When you know this is not the the end of like, oh great, I've got superpowers, mm. you know, like no, this is horror. It's like, oh my gosh, you know. I'm, I'm a freak now, kind of thing. And the, the look of a build up, you're thinking, okay, this is really interesting. Mm, yeah. Then suddenly it kind of skipped and it, it and the storyline just didn't feel plausible. Yeah. Like, for example, right at the beginning, which is like, okay, this kid's a genius and then they do this and they do that. And oh, yeah, suddenly, you know, uh, they say just comes along. Yeah, just, fought him with Victor, um, Victor yeah. Doom, yeah. et cetera. And it just, it just didn't feel that they developed the characters enough. It just mm. went, okay, this is the characters, everyone's got their superpowers, and it just didn't go in and develop anything further. It just went, here you go, one, se- one scene of big fight, and that's it. So I, I, wouldn't, even, I wouldn't even call it a fight, it was, yeah. it was pants. It's it like, oh so yeah, pants. It's like we didn't deliver with any action in the movie. Oh, well, we have to give them action here. Here, yeah. here you go, here's five minutes. Yeah. yeah. I don't even think it needed action. I don't think, yeah. it, I think it could have just, you know, if it built the story about them and it being that you know the dark side of them, you know, transforming, etc. Yeah. If they you know that side, it would have. I think they might be right there. there. Yeah. A lot of people said there was no action, but I think you're, you're a bit right there. If they just said, "Let's not have any action and just do space in the storyline," I think yeah. that would have worked. Mm. So, 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 so bear in mind, I mean, don't want to draw too much on yeah. the first film. Should there be a second film? Um, n- no. Be, for for two main reasons because they're not going to carry on with what they've just done. So well, because there's no director exactly that, that's that's exactly so, that. so I'm just thinking ah so they flopped and it's going to be a movie trying to catch up on the flop. So what's the next uh, possibility they could do? It's a reboot. And God, I can't stand reboots and reboots and reboots. Now yeah. I'm getting a little bit tired. Yeah. yeah. So let's let's say yeah, put it on the shelf. Let's say, right, Fantastic yeah. Four, or whatever. Maybe bring the Fantastic Four in another storyline and then, you know, when, in another movie. Into the yeah. yeah. I think, cause, yeah, I think, they, even the, the actors they had for them, you know, they were good young actors and, um, yeah. who's the, the, the main kid, um, he was in Whiplash. Yeah, um, oh, 
Cleopatra's baby. Yeah, yeah. 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 But yeah, the the main lead um, within that film, he was, he was really mm. good. I actually appreciate him as, as, as an actor. But again, you know, they had some good cast. Yeah, I mean, they could have gone further. With it. So we we kind of think that 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 shouldn't, and, and this is kind of one of the the, the risks and, and problems with scheduling movies five years into the future, right? Yeah. Is if you're saying that you're building this, this unit, and I suppose this might be um, Steven Spielberg's point about, is this going to go the way that are we just kind of saying, like, we're going to, these are successful, so let's just rack them up, rack them up, yeah. rack them up. We know that we're going to make money in the box office, even though the quality of the movie is going to be substandard. Yeah. It's that kind of where we think that that's going, especially the fact that they've got, so looking into the future, you've got, that Fantastic Four 2 in there. You've got Justice League movies that are, two Justice League movies that have been put in there with only one, in terms of this universe, mm. one movie being released, which is the, the, the Man of Steel. Yeah. So you've still got Suicide Squad, Batman vs. Superman, uh, Wonder Woman, um, all those movies to come into that universe before you see a Justice League film, but you've already got Justice League Part 1 and Justice League Part 2 in, in that schedule. What if, what if these movies don't work? Yeah, I, th- I think they just, I think it's just like any business thing. They just say, well, this is the direction, and if it don't work, you know, you move along. Yeah. I think they're just, you know, it's just the cashing. You know, cashing I mean, yeah, 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 the annoying thing is, I mean, I will, even if those films don't work, I will still pay to go and see a Justice League movie. Yes. Yeah. Oh, no, no, it's same. Yeah, I, I, I it's mean, same. because we are fans at the end of this. I don't yeah. know if it's if it's us that does it. But you just still kind of hope that that the quality's there, right? Yeah. No, no, it's true. And sometimes you know, gems do come through. All this, you know, sometimes they do actually get uh, geniuses. And I mean, come on, I think what happened with Fantastic Four is that they got a director from Chronicles, and you know, they yeah. expected to to make into Chronicles, and in theory, it actually would work, but. For some reason, well, you know, they said there was this whole, you know, fight on stage, you know, in the, um, yeah. in the studio and everything. Point Could of be, everywhere. Yeah. Exactly. So I think maybe it was just one of those things. It happened, it happened. So yeah. let's, so. being as though the next four years from 2017 on, on here, so we've mm-hmm. gone through, um, 2017. Let's, we don't know much about the film from 2018, 2019, 2020. We just know titles. So, Based on what we've done, we've done a hit and miss already in 2016, so we kind of know what to expect from that. Let's run through the full list and almost give a, a kind of indication of, do we think it's going to work, do we not think it's going to work, for, for all those films over the next four years, five years. So 2017, Wolverine is going to be the last Hugh Jackman yeah. um, Wolverine movie, apparently. What do we think? I think it's going to be a hit, uh, just because it finalises it. Um but then saying that with the, the last Chris, one was yeah, great. And I'm just going to say with the Chris Nolans, you know, the, if you look at that as a long story, then yes, it's a hit, but as a standalone film, maybe not. So yeah. I just talk myself out of it. Yeah, you did. <laughs> so, yeah. so you're in the middle. Yeah. Um, I think I probably am. I mean, it would be a box office hit because yeah. Hugh Jackman and Wolverine will always draw in the crowds, but my gut feeling again is it probably will tank. Yeah. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Big expectations for this yeah. one. I love that. Yeah, the first one was brilliant. And okay. I just really hope they just keep that same tone. Well, like, see, it goes back to the point where I made in, in the first part is, yeah, you want them to keep it in, ter- in terms of that tone, so the sense of humour, but yeah. still really good action. But then if they do follow the same format, will we kind of go, oh, that was the same, the same film as the first one? So will we be happy with that? Yeah, I, I hope yeah, that yeah, that that's a strong cast. Well, and, because, yeah, yeah, it's just a strong cast. And it's different to the other. Yeah, yeah, uh, absolutely right. Comic but movies. that's the thing is they're looking yeah. to draw that yeah. into the yeah. whole Marvel universe. Uh, but I think it'd be interesting to see how they do that. Fantastic Four 2, let's skip. Yeah. Wonder Woman, not much known about it. I don't know, yeah. Yeah, because she's going to be introduced in... Uh, Batman Superman. Yeah, yeah, so, and even seeing the screenshots of Wonder Woman, I was like, I don't know, it's... Uh, I, I thought it was a, a big potential because you can't replicate Wonder Woman of the seventies because it's so with the you know. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, yeah. I thought they might just go, yeah, let's do a Tomb Raider kind of you know type of you know female character kind of. But then you see this like little leather skirt and whatever. And, uh, I wasn't my lady. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I'm just thinking it's one of very good looking young women. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, you know what? I really hope that it's going to be hit. Because, yeah, yeah. So, I, I, I think it's, again, it's a different one. 
I think yeah. I, I don't have any expectations when it comes to yeah. Wonder Woman. So I think that's probably a good one. I'm going to say hit for Wonder Woman. I'm on the fence with this one. I'm on it. I well, I hope it's not going to be a calm electro kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, just just from previous female only comic movies, yeah. they've yeah. not been that great, and I don't know how they're going to improve from that. So just based on that, I'll well, head up pulls the splinters out of his ass because he's sitting on the fence. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this is an interesting one. Marvel Studios co-produced Spider-Man movie. Yeah. Well, I think this, you know how I hate about reboots. And I think, you know, um, Sony, uh, you know, bit of bullet that said, well, we're not doing anything. Okay. We're going to give you the, the character to, to Marvel and then let them say proper do a Spider-Man movie. So in a sense of, because of that, a lot of people are thinking, yeah, this is the great potential of the hits for the Spider-Man and I think a lot of people want mm-hmm. the hits they really Spider-Man is one of the major characters but people say come on it deserves a proper movie so even though I think it's going to be rebooted if I, if I it's, well I'm not too sure that yeah because right. um, it will be a, a reboot yeah, exactly. Andrew Garfield yeah. um, uh, part of my friend pissed off so <laughs> Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he, he won't be coming back. So now <laughs> yeah. he's, he's not Spider Man anymore. So yeah, we are on our third yeah. Yeah. modern day Spider Man. Yeah. But they're casting a young kid, aren't they? They are because he's he's the young Superman. So he's Spider-Man. the young Spider Man. Yeah. It'd be interesting to see how that fits because it's coming hot off the heels of Civil War. And we mentioned yeah. earlier, the Civil War has a big arc in there for for Spider Man. So it'd be interesting to see whether yeah. they they do that. And obviously, Marvel Studios co-produced, which means other Marvel characters from that, yeah. from that universe when that's, that's introduced it. and I think that's interesting so without knowing anything about the storyline lots of enthusiasm for me yeah. so I'm hoping here yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Thor Ragnarok don't know much about that storyline but I know that Ragnarok basically in, in Thor in um, Norse mythology is, is the end of end of days for the gods I think, I think so. it's, mm-hmm. like a, it's almost like a reboot um, so it's the end yeah. and then and then uh, life comes off the back of that so yeah it'd be interesting to see how that one goes yeah. I'm miss not, I'm saying I'm, yeah I'm, I was going to go straight to miss because yeah. the last ones weren't back the last one I think people yeah. just you know but well, I, well, I think interesting the interesting thing with, with Ragnarok is how it fits into the wider Avengers storyline yeah. because it's the yeah. last um, just looking at this to make sure I'm right it's the last film before Infinity War which we know is going to, and, and obviously in the last, in, in Age of Ultron, Thor was getting closer to this idea that there's something else out there that's, that's pulling the strings. Thanos. Yeah, yeah. So is this going to be a precursor to Infinity War in terms of yeah. Thanos kind of make it, or going into, um, I think Mr. Name of um, Thor's homeworld now. Oh, uh, oh, it's uh, cool. <laughs> anyway, yeah, wasting yeah. time. Um, but but could it be that Thanos is part of that, and that would lead quite nicely into in- Infinity Wars and, and how Thanos comes into the story? Because he's only ever been, and he was first introduced in the first Thor film, right? Post credits. Yeah. 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 So it'd be interesting. It's like, like Thanos has always been there in that yeah. arc. So it'd be yeah. interesting to see if it revolves around him before Infinity War. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm going to join you on the fence. I think yeah. for this. <laughs> um, I don't know. Um, Justice League Part One. I think it's really dependent on the film yeah. beforehand, right? Yeah, and you know, it's like I think like most people were praying for the hits, just not because the, we want them to get money. It's just that we want you know good storyline. We want something good. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm going to stick my neck out. I'm going to say it's going to be a hit. Well, basically, so, Batman, 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 that's pretty, yeah, much, yeah, yeah, exactly. that's pretty much Justice League part one, yeah, right? Yeah, because exactly. you're already going to have Wonder Woman, Batman, yeah. Superman. Yeah. I mean, the only ones that are missing, really, Aquaman. <laughs> <laughs> Flash. Yeah. Green Lantern. Yeah. But don't you get that feeling that, you know, now, like people are saying, oh, they're bringing characters because, you know, it's not about the reboot, but just bringing out. But I just get that feeling that it's all about, you know, pushing comic books again. It's like bringing yeah. characters out. It's like, oh, I don't know about Aquaman. Then you see a movie about it and you go, oh, actually, I'm not getting to the comics. And yeah. I, don't, yeah. I don't know how much I'd like to see a movie about Aquaman. <laughs> not my favourite character. Do you remember? So Justice League, it's interesting. Yeah. I hope it's a hit. Yeah. Interesting. Um, Bloodshot, I don't know anything about this one. Yeah. Should we skip one? Yeah. yeah. I think so. 
if Andy was here, he'd know yeah. exactly what, yeah. what, we, what to say. But yeah, Bloodshot, not sure. Flash? Mm. This is Flash. Uh, give me a look at the series. But not, it's a different, yeah. it's a different, it's a different Flash. It's a different Flash. Well, the, the TV series is very kiddified and I, I'm not, um, it's completely polar yeah. opposite to um, Arrow, which is obviously it's, it's yeah. connected to it. Yeah, it's yeah. I'm I'm not a big fan of that character, yeah. that incarnation of Flash. Yeah, same. Yeah. I'm not sure how much you can like Aquaman. I'm not sure how much you can do with Flash. So I mean, it's just going to be another origin story, right? Mm. And it comes out just before. It, um, oh no, it's after Justice League actually. So mm-hmm. interesting to see. How yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to say this. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, really too, yeah. Uh, Avengers Infinite War Part 1, touched on it a little bit, let's go straight to hit and miss. Yes, yeah. hit. Well, I'm actually going to go to hit, um, normally yeah. I would have gone to say a miss, but I think it's going to be a hit because of, of all the other movies yeah. that have been produced. If it's not a hit, it's going to be, what, how many years since Iron Man came out? It's going to be that amount of years wasted because all of this yeah. has pretty much built up to Infinity War, right? Yeah. So... <laughs> <laughs> I God, I, it's almost like yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. a crescendo, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's, it's been built, and God knows what they're going to do after after yeah. uh, after Infinity Wars is over. But it's building up to this. So mm-hmm. God, I hope it, it, it's good. Black Panther. Also, yeah. I'm really looking forward to this. Yeah. yeah, Black Panther's also being introduced in um, one of the movies, I think. Uh, in Civil War, I think, potentially, in Civil yeah. War. Uh, the, the movie that's been shooting around, I think, they've yeah. that Panther in there. He's going to be introduced yeah. before this movie. So it'd be interesting to see how they yeah. do that. Again, not, not, don't know too much about the character. So, but it should be interesting. Yeah. yeah. Should be interesting. Hit and miss, maybe. I'd say yes. Yeah. I think, like I said, any, any new movies, new characters. New format. Yeah. 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 Uh, War should think it's going to be a hit. People yeah. will be interested. Yeah. There's an untitled mystery Marvel film um, in 2018, so I can't really talk too much about that. Uh, another Spider-Man movie, um, I think, again, um, well, let's go over that one because we don't really know anything about that based on the other movie. Aquaman, <laughs> moving swiftly on. <laughs> Captain Marvel? Uh, Captain Marvel, I think... Uh, I, th- I think with Captain Marvel is such an important character... That, and I'm not even, uh, fortunately Anthony's not here anyway, he's backed me up on the story and all that, but I think it's gonna be another one where it's a hit, um, just for, there are the fans out there, and I think they're not gonna um, miss upon it. I've got this, this thing in my head now, I think because of Guardians of the Galaxy, that now these, uh, comic book characters that people know, but they're not as famous, because there, there isn't this, you know, we're holding all out for these movies that actually people are pleasantly surprised, you know. So I'm going to go for a hit. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I like what they're doing in terms of they are bringing other big characters that are aside from the ones that we, are, you know, know and love. And yeah. he, he's one, one, one of them. And this, it's, it's targeting those type of fans of the comics and it's trying to in, yeah. increase. I think one of the things that confuses me a little bit is, so straight off the back of Captain Marvel... In 2019, you've got Shazam. Yeah. My understanding has always been Shazam was Captain Marvel. What is this? I thought it was, is it Quasar? And another, yeah, another name. Yeah. yeah. And I thought that was something with, you know, Captain Marvel. This is where um, even my lack of knowledge on uh, comics, but sometimes you, you know that, you know, characters or especially, uh, people, you know, the, the main storyline, they, Merge or they come from another storyline. So even then, I'm a little bit. I have to be honest. I'm a bit confused and and not you know knowledgeable in that area. So yeah, it's yeah. I think you're right. It's uh, one of those things. On my my hands up. I'm not, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not too sure. And then interestingly, so just conscious of time, which I'm trying to wrap wrap these up. So off the back of Captain Marvel and Shazam. You've got, within the space of two months, uh, one month actually, May and June in 2019, Infinity War Part 2 yeah. and Justice League Part 2. Wow. It seems as though May and June 2019 might be pretty epic. Yeah. If it goes the same way, yeah. what we hope. Again, I think much like Part 1 and both of those, we hope for it. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then behind that, you've got three films, Inhumans, Cyborg and Green Lantern Corps. So obviously, 
Cyborg and Green Lantern Corps very much linked into the whole yeah. Justice League type thing. It'd be interesting with the fact that they're coming after part two of, of Justice League. So pretty sure they must have mapped out the story arcs for all these, but it's interesting that these are the characters are introduced after, or have stand, not necessarily introduced, but standalone movies after. Yeah, I, I, sometimes I just feel all these days have been out there because they're just, you know, the studios said, right, we need to, you know, plan ahead, you know, our calendar. Mm. Let's, you know, make sure we've got, you know, room studio time for these movies. And I think that's how they would like to put it. This is, you know, actually, this is how it should pan out. Mm-hmm. So um, I'm not too sure how I could see them, you know, if if, if Marvel just, just, yeah, just flop for some reason where spaghetti western you know yeah. they're just like when people are just bored of it I could see, I could see them say no we're not going to carry on with yes because yeah they're just planning and they're, they're not they're not probably haven't got the financial backing for it just yet exactly so, so I think that's pretty much all we've got time for yeah. for today I think if there was an overriding kind of feeling that you get based on the, the, what we what we read out what would it be one word let's pick on the spot one word oh. excited interesting I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna say apprehensive. Um, <laughs> I, again, uh, echoing Steven Spielberg, I, I think there's a hell of a lot there, and we yeah. could be saturated with, with movies, comic book movies over the next five years. As a fan, I hope they do him justice. Yeah. No pun intended in terms of the justice. <laughs> like, <laughs> brilliant. All right, cheers, guys. Cool. Thank you. Um, thanks for joining us, um, and uh, join us next time on the Little Red Blog. Thank you. <laughs>